Okay, back after, uh, you know, 11 months, officially back, getting ready for a main event. I guess what's, uh, what's the emotions like for you right now as you get ready for another big fight? Yeah, uh, it's awesome to be back eh, uh, in Vegas. And um, it's been a bit of a, a layoff, but was out of my control. Uh, a little back injury kind of kept me from, I guess, training. And it was one of the things that I neglected in my career, just investing back into my body and, and um, you know, mobility, stretching until it, pretty much humbled me until I couldn't do anything. So I had to rest for about two two months and then could slowly build again. So great thing about um, being where I'm at in my career, I could kind of give a time frame of when I wanted to fight and uh, it all came about perfectly. So I'm glad to be here. You know, it's been a great camp, 12 weeks we've built, um, been building for this date. So uh, yeah, I'm ready to get in there and, and um, remind everyone why I'm the best flyer in the world. I love it. Uh, I know heartbreaking to not be in that last competition, but it sounds, you said you, couldn't do anything. So was it an easy decision to make, even though I know you wanted to fight? Was it easy to say, I just absolutely can't? Or did people have to talk you out of it? No, no. I, like, I, I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't bend over. Uh, I couldn't tie my shoe. So how am I going to get ready for a, a, a fight and, and give the fans what they want to see? And, and uh, it was awesome to be in Perth uh, in, in Australia as a guest fighter and seeing all the fans and seeing how excited they were to have UFC events back in our side of the world. So... Um, they're coming back in s September, so I'm not looking past, obviously, this weekend, but it's great that the UFC are um, coming back to that side of the world. Yeah. Um, so, you know, obviously after a loss, you want to get back in there and, and get rid of that feeling, right, and move past it. So has that loss lingered with you over that time, or have you, ha or you, have you been able to process it and learn the lessons and move past? What's, what's it been like for you? Yeah, it's a lot of positives that we could take away from that last fight where it just showed we're right there with the best guys. Um, you know, if we went back that night and um, things went a bit differently, I could be here for the bout now. It's just what happens at the the highest level of sport. Um, that's just how it is, it's a game of inches. So, um, yeah, we've taken away positives, we've worked on stuff that we need to, um, and I, I left that in the cage, I didn't take it with me. Uh, I've been a person to just go again. Uh, like, that's my whole career, I just keep turning up for myself and we keep building and, and um, progression, so. You know, I've taken losses uh, before, and I know how to build myself back up. So I'm looking forward to, um, I guess, reminding everyone and, and um, showing why, why uh, I deserve to have the next or have another title shot. Right. Yeah. It sounds like you're thinking more about, you know, where, where a win gets you and, you know, where you are. I mean, so I was just wonder what the matchup was. You know, they offer Amir, who's kind of new name to the rankings, mm -hmm. you know, maybe not as much hype or whatever. I mean, what, what was your thoughts when that was the matchup that was presented? Yeah, I just told Mick, it was actually in Perth when I saw him, I said, oh, I want to get a fight booked. And he said, well, I'll get a few names going and uh, we'll see who's available. So uh, there's a few things that were kind of uh, factors, but Amir was the guy that was closest to my ranking and available. So, you know, these contenders that are on win streaks, momentum, hype, they want to take my spot on number three and I welcome it. I want, I want to fight the best guys. So... Um, yeah, he's a, he's a great fighter, you know, he's a great grappler, great wrestler, um, got momentum, but I'm here to take all that. I'm here to um, show him that there's levels to this, and, and that's what I'm going to be doing on Saturday. We see a lot of times guys that are in your position, though, even maybe coming off a loss, like, ah, you know, top five, I don't know if I'm going to go that far, where it's down. I mean, was there any part of that in you that was like, well, that guy really hasn't earned his way to me yet? Like, uh, I'm not going to overlook anyone, and a fight's a fight, and i got to respect the sport, and... I'm just here to compete. I'm here to compete against the best. And um, it just happened to work out that the main event for this fight fell through. And then Mick said, do you want it? And I said, of course. I'm here to um, obviously make more money and, and uh, more eyes on us. So it's great that the flyweight division are having a, a main event slot because, you know, it's one, one of the most exciting f uh, divisions in, this, in the UFC. And, and it's awesome that the UFC trusts me to, to be able to deliver. They know that I come for finishes. I come for knockouts. And I'm always in exciting fights, so it's nice that um, yeah, the UFC see that and uh, I get to go do that Saturday. Right, so last thing for me, you know, Amir was in here earlier and he said he is looking at this as a number one contender fight for himself. <laughs> do you feel the same way? I know you said you're right there and, you know, you, you want to earn back. Do you think this enough alone will be able enough to get you a title shot? Uh, all I can do is go out there and show, show my worth, show what I'm uh, capable of. And, you know, I'm not here to rush back into a title fight. I'm just here to to show everyone why I deserve it. So um, Saturday night, me and Amir get to square off. I get to challenge myself against, you know, a, a, a challenger that's got momentum. And that will be, 
just that will put me where I need to be. So that's all, my, all I'm focused on. I'm not going to overlook anyone. I've, I've had opponents that overlooked me because they didn't think I was worthy enough. But I got to respect uh, Amir, respect the sport, and I know that a fight's a fight. So he'll realise that when I land my first right hand, and, and um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a bad night. Okay. Um, who are you taking, Brandon Moreno or uh, Alexander Pantoja? I've been asked this a few times today. Um, yeah, it's a great fight. Uh, it's, a, it's a fight that's got a lot of history. You know, of Pantoja winning twice against Moreno. I feel like Moreno is a different fighter since they last fought. And I feel like he has another level of confidence since being the champion. So I feel like that might be a factor. I feel like the, the um, aggression and the pace and the pressure that Pantoja puts on Moreno, I feel like he'll deal with it. But... Um, Regardless who I think is going to win, I think it's going to be a great fight and um, great for the flyout division. Awesome. Thanks, man. Try, uh, I know you spoke about this with Mission Radio, but for, for the benefit of us in the room, how inspirational was Israel's win over Alex Pereira? Uh, it's just shocking, like, how it happened, the backstory, everything about it, but the way he did it, it was like he knew exactly what was going to happen. And I always had confidence in Izzy, but... Yeah, just to, to, to see him do it like he did. Um, I've said it before, and it's it's definitely one of the biggest sporting moments in our generation, uh, not even just for New Zealand, but in the world, just just everything that was involved. So I take a lot away from that because, you know, a guy that he's lost to three times and still has the confidence and the self-belief that he can still get it done just shows me that I'm still right there. I never lose hope of what the goal is, and that's to be a world champion. So, uh, yeah, it's it's massive. We saw Alex Volkanovsky's reaction to it. He was screaming and shouting at the TV. Was yours pretty similar? Definitely. I had the whole, uh, well, a few of the teammates at my house, and um, I think we got noise control called because we, we were shouting and screaming and losing our minds. Just, just in, so, so happy for him to be able to do that and um, how much pressure was on him. It was like him being free in there because it's already happened before. He already lost. He already got you know, knocked out. Um, so what's the worst that could happen? So to see him do it like that and, and um, yeah, just to see him so happy, it, it was awesome. So. Hey, Kai, just one over here. Uh, you had posted about it on social media as well. You were signing some posters and you said, you know, this is the first of many to come. Mm -hmm. What was that like to finally see your face, you know, on a main event poster and be able to sign it and be like, man, I'm, you know, I'm really getting this main event and I'm doing this for the first time, right? Yeah, it's awesome. Like it's it's pretty um, like humbling knowing the journey that I've come from to now be here in, in Vegas and um, to represent my country. You know, it's it's little moments like that. You you have to really take it for what it is, and it just um, lets me know I'm exactly where I need to be. Um, so yeah, I, like being away from from fighting for a little while. I was I was able to document uh, or do a doco filmed in New Zealand and it was on a, a mainstream platform back home, and it documented my journey from when I first started to to now how I get ready for a world title fight. So it was it was cool to get uh, a new audience involved, um, supporting me that don't necessarily watch fighting, and um, just to have my like family involved, my wife, my mum and dad, my brother, my coaches, my teammates talk about me and where I've come from. Uh, it's just yeah, full circle because, you know, there's only 1% of people, especially from New Zealand, that get to do this. So I'm, gr I'm grateful that I, I keep turning up for myself and look where we are now, headlining a card in Vegas, and um, I get to get my uh, title, title uh, contention back on track. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Thank you.